I bet you guys weren't expecting this. <laughs> this is Autobot Stockade. Uh, he was an AllSpark re uh, repaint of a mold I never had when the first movie line was going around. Uh, sad to say, uh, I think I said this before, uh, I believe I said this before, but if not, I said this, but when the first movie line was actually going on, I was, av I was actually avoiding, if it wasn't a character from the movie, I was avoiding them. Uh, any of these, uh, any of the original molds like these, uh, or any of the repaints, I was avoiding them like the plague. And I very limited myself, uh, like, I got, at one point, I had every single character except for Megatron. I still don't have Megatron. God bless. But anyway, let's take a look at this guy. He's a he's a red little truck. I actually wanted to wash him. He's actually a bit dusty. Um, he kind of rolls okay. This kibble on the bottom, I guess it's the way he, he is, but... The wheels and this are at the same length, so it's just like... Oh, there we go. It's a little bit better. Now, of course, since he since he is a, meant to be a uh, he is meant to be one of be one of the few drones slash off characters. He does have a he does have a gimmick that we can actually look at, and his, his gimmick is actually we take this nub and we just push it back, and what what do we get? A pair of pliers, not even a pair of pliers, a pair of wire cutters. Oh, beware the wire cutters! And you can actually use the little nub. To make them go om nom, but I don't know why you'd use the nub because, okay, I have tiny hands for even, for, uh, you know, and even I'm having a tough time with this. Why, why do I use, when use the nub when I can easily just use one of the other, uh, use one of the jaws just to do this? And I do like the little touch that when you're, when you do have it deployed, the tailgate is down, and then when you retract it, it's actually spring loaded to go back up there. Kind of seamlessly. I did not realize it did this until I accidentally just knocked it and it just pushed it out. That was actually really kind of cool. A spark, spun, a spark, a spark plug and sun salvage. Now I do kind of do. I do kind of do. I do like how they do try to how they try to attempt to incorporate these vehicles in the movie in some way, without giving anything away. Uh, but. But the downside is, it says this is spark plug. Okay, spark plug and sun. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm thinking of Witwicky. But uh, so of course, spark uh, spark plug was the original name that Sam was supposed to have in uh the movie. Not supposed to have, but in the G1 cartoon, there's uh the sp uh spike uh, the spike uh spike and spark plug Witwicky. And that wasn't, and this is a nice throwback. <laughs> um. Anywho, let's get down to this neat, n this nifty, nifty little transformation. First off, of course, we got to move the tripod again. And how do we start this off? We first by just ripping this off. Boop! It is the actual weapon. Two little posts here, and then the little thing in the back will still deploy it. But what do we get inside? A nice detailed trunk. I. Like, no joke, like this, tr uh, like, no joke, I was expecting this to be flat empty, but that, mm. oh, yawn, but then to include, like, the wells and the actual, like, the, the inside like that, that's, okay, you guys get props. So what's the first thing you do, because, oh, this thing's a, this, this, this thing's a hoot, this thing is a real hoot. First, we start off by get, going underneath here and extending this giant brick of what's going to become the actual legs. But anyway, what have I been doing? What have I been doing? Resident Evil 7 has been eating my life, I swear to God. Uh, I, I swear that has not been <laughs> what's been eating my time up uh, trying to make big reviews, I swear. Okay, possibly. I am a sucker for those games, like that, uh, for Resident Evil 7, De uh, all, uh, pretty much all the Dead Spaces, love them, love them all to death. Uh, playing Resident Evil 7 actually made me kind of nervous, until basically, I think it was like till, like two hours in, my res my, my, uh, my Dead Space instincts kicked in, and basically just like, okay, I know how to basically win at this game with my eyes shut now. And I give you... Truck Gurrock mode. 
Yeah. I just I just thought of that. But now we kind of get to the back. Uh, like I said, this thing's kind of a weird little muggle mash. You have to lift up the bumper. The bumper is what's holding the, the rest of the, uh, the trunk bed in. Pull these back. Push these up. And then you fold this back. You lay it flat. And you... F Watch that. And then you boop. And a boop. And the, I think they're supposed to be like this. Uh, at this like weird angle. And not supposed to be flat in your lap. But anyway. On to the front. Ooh. And you split this open. And it's going to come out on this hinge. And you're going to have this little peg. Going to that hole right there. But at the same time, you need to lift this up. That's going to cause this door to spring forward. Pull the arm out. Put that. Put that down. And that peg is way too short. It it sit. You can feel it friction in there, but it doesn't stay at all. Anyway, same side, same thing. Boom. So you just lift this up. Door tries to flip forward, but the there you go. I mean, that's a kind of kind of a cool thing to have these actually come rearing forward and use as a punching thing. I don't know why he has guns on his hands like that right there. Take his pecs, push down the pecs, lift this up, and that's going to reveal the head. Rather nicely, actually. Fix the antennas. And there is, an, I think, stockade, I think. <laughs> oh, the names of these non-main lines always escape me because I'm not used to dealing with them. And yeah, stockade, I was right. Hey, how about that? As I whip out this giant, not this giant sheet, but it's three pages of all the figures that I'm keeping track with. Anyway, okay, so let's take a look at this guy, first of all. Let's take a look at his head. I kind of dig the head. Uh, they do end up using different kinds of sculpts. And of course, he has clear plastic and... It's getting to this point of a. It's getting to this point now where if anything was clear plastic, it would be shattering right now because you know, like I said, this ten is this toy is ten years old. Think about that. Actually, think about that for a second. The ten year old who might have bought this toy back in '07 is now out of high school. Is in college. Possibly even already already illegal to drink. Yeah, my age is showing hard. And my birthday's this month, too, so yay! Happy belated birthday to me. Now, see, he has the opposite end. He has the post, and the and the hole is actually in the body. But yet again... Okay, actually... This one's actually behaving. This one's not. So, okay, what about articulation? He does have... A ball jointed, uh, a ball jointed shoulder. No bicep. He does have an elbow, but you cannot get his arm straight. He's permanently at this pose because of this flipping thing right here. It does not want to go fully back. I don't get the guns. Uh, this is a weird mold for me where I like things, but I don't like things. Um, of course, he starts off using the the digit gray legs. Some they keep people keep calling it chicken legs, but. That is the actual correct term, is digigrade legs. I mean, that's what every single animal has. That's what your dog has, your cat has, your your cat, uh, your your dog, uh, your your owl, so on and so forth. Yeah, they're supposed to be a little bit more like this. Let's give him a little bit, make him a little bit more taller. Uh, and for his legs, he does have a ball joint in his thigh. It does go back. Uh, of course, his knee's going to have some great bend, uh, bending to it because of the how the how the digigrade how the digigrade legs work. Now, and if you couldn't tell, he was part of the uh, the two thousand eight st uh, the two thousand eight All Spark Power Line, which 
Um, which any figure released on light hat was by mandatory to feature this all spark light blue in their in their in their design somewhere. Let's see. Let's put him back so you can get a good idea, like a good idea of how this guy actually looks like in frame fully. I he's kind of a mess. Um, he's really need to transform. I give it that, but. He's a mess. I mean, it's like I have a weird hate relationship with this thing. Uh, I really do. I mean, you can get him into in some decent posing, but I I'm so worried about all this right here. All the boop. I'm so worried about all the kibble getting in the way. And it usually does, especially up here in the arms. Uh, okay, no, not really doesn't. But you know, basic. But you know, forward and sideward motion, you're fine. But the minute you want to go back, you hit into the doors. The the guns keep catching on everything because you keep forgetting about them. I have no idea why the guns are there. Why why make? It's one thing to get, put the guns on on the hands, and it's another. You get you. Oh, fudge. I knocked the camera. I'm going to keep that in. <laughs> um, it's, a, it's another thing to actually have this as a pair of pliers. What? What? It's another. Okay. This was a waste of potential right here. You guys could have made this so cool into maybe like it folds in half and the gun comes out or something. But no, it comes out and pulls out a pair of pliers. Was it supposed to somehow integrate into the uh into the real gear line later uh at the same time oh and even worse he can barely hold the thing in a natural way he has to hold it like this a giant panel for his a giant panel for his truck mode he has to hold with a pair of pliers come out of it i wish there was a, a way to store i wish there was a, a better way to store this in robot mode because i would ah like I, like I said, this 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 figure. I like it, but I hate it at the same time. Um, what are you buying this care? What are you buying this this? Uh, what are you buying Stock Age for? You buying it for the really good truck mode, the 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 uh, uh, thinking out of the box transformation, but not for the actual but not for the actual robot mode. You basically you go to robot mode just to turn it back into truck mode and then not leave like that. I bet you because once I put uh once I actually put him on the actual shelf, I'm not going to touch him again. Um if you're trying to uh, to get him, don't uh, uh, don't, uh hey, I'm uh, hey, we're we're going on a theme now. After a couple weeks of praising uh praising these uh praising them, we're going on the <laughs> we're going on the rant rage right now. Uh I put it like this: If you have a chance to pick him up by himself, you better pay cheap. You better go cheap on these on this guy. Uh, five, ten bucks maybe for this deluxe. Uh, for the lots, pick him up as part of a lot just to help flush things out. But other than that, this guy's an easy pass. Uh, overall, he's okay. But my personal recommendation is in a lot or dirt cheap, but overall, if people try to charge, even try to charge you like more than 12 bucks, pass on them. I really do. Oh. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. 